Hello everyone, today I'm looking at a USB-C docking station. This is the Salor and S Global 16-in-1 USB-C docking station which supports quadruple displays. In this video I'll do a quick unboxing, take a closer look at the docking station, look at all of the ports and talk about the main features, do a quick demo of the docking station with my laptop and finally end with a summary and overview. Now if you enjoy this video or you find it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments and I'll link the product in the video description. So let's begin with a quick unboxing. So the docking station comes in this nice little box and features an image of the product on the top. And on the bottom corner it says it's got gigabit ethernet and it also says it's compatible with the new macbook and on the reverse side it has a list of all of the ports along with the relevant details so inside the box you get the actual docking station we'll take a closer look at this in a minute there's an instruction manual this is very handy, it is close by, it has all of the info you need including the full list of all of the ports, information about display setting for Mac and Windows and a brief FAQ for fairly common questions and you also get a USB-C to USB-C cable. So let's take a closer look at the docking station, I have to admit it looks rather nice. I like the design of it and the rounded corners. It has a black and metallic finish and it looks like the main body itself is made from aluminium and the top and the bottom panels are plastic. It measures approximately 17 centimeters by 8 centimeters and is approximately 3 centimeters tall. Now you couldn't exactly carry this in your pocket but of course you can just easily throw it in your bag for travel and I think this would actually look rather good on your setup just sitting on your desk. In fact for that actual purpose it has two non-slip rubber pads on the base. Also on the base of the docking station is the actual model number which is SED K0701 as a product serial number and an email address to contact customer support. So this has 16 ports which by the way are all labelled so the ports consist of the following. On the front side you have a USB-C PD3 port. Now this supports up to 100 watts. There's another USB-C port. This is to connect to the host machine. There's a 3.5 millimeter audio input for headphones or microphones. A third USB-C port, this is USB 3.1 and supports up to 10 gigabits per second at 7.5 watts. Next there's a USB A 3.1 port, this also supports up to 10 gigabits per second at 7.5 watts. Then you have two USB A ports, these are USB 3.0 and supports up to 5 gigabits per second at 4.5 watts. And finally you have two further USB A ports, these are USB 2.0 and support up to 480 megabits per second at 2.5 watts. And on the back you have a gigabit ethernet port, a display port, now this supports 4K at 60Hz or 4K at 30Hz is basically 4K 2K which is a resolution of 3840 by 2160. Now to achieve this the host side must support display port 1.4 for 4K at 60Hz and display port version 1.2 for 4K at 30Hz. Next there's a HDMI port labelled HDMI 2. This supports 4K by 2K again like the display port but only at 30 hertz. Then you have HDMI port number 1. This basically supports the same features as the display port. It supports 4K at 60 or 30 hertz. And finally there's a VGA port. Now I'm not too sure about this. I mean it's 2023. Who still uses VGA ports? Nonetheless it has one if you need it. Now this port by the way is only 1080p at 60Hz. 
And finally, on one side of the dock, there's a micro SD card reader and a regular full size SD card reader. So that's all of the ports. One other feature you also have on the dock is a small LED indicator on the top left corner. So obviously one of the main selling points of this dock is the sheer number of ports. It has 16 ports and we've already covered this. The other main selling point is the fact that this docking station supports up to four displays, albeit one via VGA port. The monitor configuration works in the following way and I'll demonstrate using my triple screen setup and laptop. So here I have the docking station connected to my HP laptop running Windows. And in terms of monitors, I have a 34 inch LG ultra wide in the middle. This is my main screen. And on either side, I have 17 inch 4K panels from UPerfect monitors. So let's do a demo. So for a single display, you would use HDMI port number one or the display port which will output a maximum resolution of 4K at 60 Hz. Now, unfortunately, my LG Ultrawide isn't a 4K monitor. It's 1440p at 60 Hz, so the resolution will be scaled down. But as you can see, it's connected and it's working. For a dual screen setup, you would use HDMI port number two and the display port. Now, let's try this with the left vertical screen and the Ultrawide. Now this will run both screens at a maximum resolution of 4K at 30Hz. Of course the resolution will be scaled down again if your monitors don't support 4K. And as you can see everything's working just fine. For a triple screen display you would use HDMI port number 1 and this will output 4K 30Hz then HDMI port number two and the display port, both will output 1080p. Again, the resolution will be scaled down if your monitors don't support 4K. And you can see all three displays are working and I must admit, this looks rather cool and really productive. And finally, for a quadruple display, you'd use both HDMI, the display port and the VGA port and all four displays will basically be at 1080p 60Hz. Now, unfortunately, I can't demonstrate this particular feature as I don't have a monitor that has a VGA input, but you get the general idea of how things would work. So let's talk about why you might actually need this stock. So I work partly from home, sometimes two or three times a week, and my work mainly involves using my work laptop. And at any one time, I could be doing a number of things that requires me to have several windows open. And even with one additional external display sometimes it feels like there's just not enough screen real estate to comfortably work and this is where a dock such as this becomes really handy i can have all the windows i need open all at the same time without having to switch from one application to another and i can view everything at a glance now in terms of the different display settings you can either mirror what's on your laptop screen so all the displays basically show the same thing or you can extend your desktop across all of the screens whereby essentially you have one giant desktop spanning across all of the monitors. Please remember the extended display setting isn't supported by Apple and only works on Windows systems. The Slow S Global 16-in-1 USB-C docking station is a great product. It has all of the ports you could ask for. I love the design and finish and it looks great in my setup. It's perfect for everyday use and offers an abundance of features such as a gigabit ethernet port and a Type-C power delivery port that supports up to 100 watts. It's nice and small and light and perfect for carrying it in your bag. Overall, this is a really well designed hub. However, there's one change that I would make. I don't like the fact that the USB host port is on the front of the hub. It should really be on the rear so I don't have a cable sticking up from the front. It looks slightly unsightly and a little messy. Also, I'm not sure how useful the fourth display would be as it needs to be connected via VGA port. And in this configuration, all displays essentially become 1080p. However, 
But other than that, I'm really pleased with this docking station. It's a fantastic device and it's a great addition to my workflow. The Salor and S Global 16-in-1 docking station is available now from Amazon. There's a product link in the video description below. Thanks again for watching folks. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.